Before I begin, before I begin, I want to kick a shout out to my boy Cowboy's Corner because he made a video about this last night. I don't want to get on here and, and, and take somebody's idea or take somebody's video. It, it shouldn't matter because we're all Cowboy fans anyway. But I just thought I would... Shout out to my boy. If you haven't subscribed to him, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Cowboys Corner. Yeah, I watched this video. We made a video last night. I watched this video this morning because I got I get up at 3 in the morning. And I was like, hmm. So I read a couple of articles here and there throughout the day. I had a light day today, so I'm, I'm back home early. I couldn't wait to talk about this. Because I don't make a video in the I think season unless I'm concerned. Yeah. Unless I'm concerned, like I'm always concerned about the Cowboys. Yeah. Concerned. Why am I always concerned? Stephen Jones. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Jones strikes again. Hmm. I hope y'all are sitting down because this is about to be a doozy. If you haven't heard what Stephen Jones said yesterday, listen up. But I warn you, what I'm about to say ain't for the weak at heart. So if you're overly sensitive, if you're a cowboy fan that, that don't like to hear productive criticism, if you don't like to hear the truth about your team, if you don't like to hear the negatives along with the positives, if you're sissified behind the Dallas Cowboys, Turn me off right now. Go to the other channels. Because they'll, they'll say exactly what you want to hear. No, 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 not 1980. Uh-uh. I don't sugarcoat grown folk feelings. I'm, that's not what I'm here for. But what I am here for is the truth.
weave my way through every last one of you. This is for all the diehard that go to every game, that fight in the stands, fight outside, and got tattoos all over them, all over them selling Mickey Mouse tattoos of the Dallas Cowboys. This is for those diehard fans that worry about what other fan, fan base members are doing. If you're listening, if you're watching this video, listen up. I'm going to read this right quick. Yeah. I want you to listen. And I want you to think about it. Yeah. I want you to think about it. Executive Vice President Stephen Jones noted Tuesday on 105.3 The Fan that the club isn't done yet in free agency, but highlighted that even the future additions, including in next week's draft, would make or break this team. So you're telling me whoever we, whoever we draft isn't going to matter? Is it going to have any negative or positive effect on this football team this upcoming season? What are you drafting for? If you're thinking like that, if you get upset because the fan base is upset, the fan base is tired. That's what we are, man. We're tired. And you tell us this, Oh, well, see, you know, even though the draft coming up, it ain't going to make a bit of a difference. In other words, what difference is that? Are you agreeing that we've been bullshit, a bullshit organization for over 25 years? That's what it sounds like right there. I'm reading it right here in black and white. He said it right there on 105.3 The Fan. Yeah. I'm reading, let me read it again. Cowboys executive vice president. Stephen Jones noted Tuesday on 105.3 The Fan that the club isn't done in free agency yet, but highlighted that even the future additions, including in next week's draft, would make or break this team. And then he goes on to say, I don't think you ever win a Super Bowl in the offseason. Yeah, I think it's a full body of work that you put together over time. I think we'll be a better team and I think we can take the next step. I don't think you ever win a Super Bowl in the offseason. That's right because you don't play any damn games in the offseason, smart ass. But you can also set your team up for success in the offseason. That's what the offseason is for. For no reason. The offseason is to, to scout, to, to look at prospects, to, to, to examine, to, to strategically put together an army, assemble an army to go into battle, put your best guys out there on the field, on the battlefield for battle, for competition. The offseason is not smoking mirrors. It is so guys can get the rest, get, get surgeries done, so they can be back stronger. And hopefully in the draft. We draft good players, guys. We don't draft for fun. We draft for competition, man. This is a game. Dog, I'm going to tell y'all straight up, man. This is straight up from the heart, dog. Them mother, they don't give a shit about us, man. Right there. Right here. I just read it, guys. I just read it, man. All you YouTubers out there. All you guys. I hope you're watching this video, man. I hope you're listening up. Because guess what? All the hard work you put into making these videos and getting people to like and subscribe and all this shit. Playing music in the background. Got green screens and shit. Making your team, making your channel look all exotic so people can... Click bait and click on and all that bullshit. Guess what? They don't give a damn. None of that wins Super Bowls. None of it, guys. 
It don't win Super Bowls. So you can like and have all and share and all the all of them uh, 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 subscribers all you want. But that son, he don't. They don't care, man. They let all these guys go. Amari Cooper, uh, 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 Randy Gregory, Lyle Collins. Yeah, they let all these guys go, man, without a thought behind it. Without a thought. Without a thought. Without even second guessing themselves. They just let them go. They're okay with being mediocre. They're okay with it. They're going to be okay with it, man. And I'm telling how long it's going to be like this, man. But reading this article right here lets me further know what they really, how, they, how, they, how much they care about the fan base, which is the most important thing in sports, is the fan base. Without fans, none of this shit exists. None of it. But but now that they done will to see. They done will to see him back in the 90s. Yeah. Made us die hard. Yeah. They done will to see him. And they turned this thing into a hundred percent business. It used to be 50-50. It used to be 50 business. We know it's a business. You get what I'm saying? And it used to be 50 a competitive sport. To, to make it to the promise, like make it to the Super Bowl. That's what it used to be. Uh-uh. Not with the Jones family, man. See, they pockets, guys. They pockets full, man. Ain't nobody on YouTube going to say this shit. Ain't nobody going to say what I'm saying because they don't want to lose those views, man. They want you to click on their channels, dog. They pockets is full, man. You see what I'm saying? And as long as we empty in our pockets, spending our last on jerseys, Spending our last on front row, 50-yard line seats and all that shit and fighting in the stands and all that stuff and we can't call them the bellas out of jail if we get into a fight with somebody. As long as we're doing that, that's winning to them. That's winning, guys. That's winning to them. That ain't winning to us. Winning to us is, is, is this. Hoisting up that Lombardi trophy. Beating the brakes off somebody in the Super Bowl. Dominating. Winning time of possession. Winning in the trenches. Having the number one defense in the NFL. Having the best offensive line in football. That's winning to us. Winning to them? Ching ching. It's pockets, guys. How they pockets looking? That's it, man. That right there. They're right there. I can't even be excited about the draft, man. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious, man. I was almost, almost. I made a video yesterday. If you, if, you, if you missed it, go back and check it out. 1980 was this close to being excited about the draft, guys. I was like, oh, we got nine days, man. We got nine days into the draft. They almost had me, guys. They almost wheeled me in, guys. They almost did it. Yeah. Uh huh. That's all they care about. They don't want to win no more, man. And he had the nerve to fix his mouth and say we're a better team. He had the nerve to say that. Let me, let me put, let me, let me. He said, "I don't think you ever win a Super Bowl in the offseason." I think it's full. Of, I think it's a full body of work that you put together over time. How you know, my motherfucker? We ain't won a Super Bowl in twenty seven years. What you talking about, man? Who you? What you talking about, bro? You can only talk like this when you won a Super Bowl recently, and you know how to get there, and you've been there on a consistent basis, or at least close. What you talking about, bro? He's talking like we've been to the Super Bowl lately. Motherfucker, you know how long 27 years is? You can retire from a job in 27 years. You talking about, I, I, I think 
it's a full body of work that you put together over time. How much time you need, motherfucker? So, so, I'm sorry, man. Sorry for the language, but this dude talking out his ass right now, man. Like, you need to keep your mouth shut, bro. Let Jerry do the talking. I I'm dead serious, man. Because you don't know, I'm scared. When Jerry passes away, I'm scared. I'm scared for us guys. I'm scared for the Dallas Cowboys, man. Like, I'm dead serious, bro. We are in trouble if this son of a bitch take off. Look at this right here. I I'm not making this up. Don't get mad at me. I don't need nobody in the comment section to my oh, 19 you. Uh uh. This is all his talking right here, y'all. Y'all can't blame me for this one. What you talking about, man? Who is this guy? Who, who is this guy, man? Really? Um, I try to remain positive, I really do. But this right here really makes me mad. It really gets under my skin. It really makes, it really brings my piss to a boil. Make sure you say cowboy up and prayed up, because you never know. What the day is gonna bring you? How about it's your boy? And the only thing else I got to say is.